So we're in Dahlonega today. It is an absolutely beautiful October day. Um, as a matter of fact, it's warmed up a bit. We had a storm that came up and brought some warm weather up. If you look off to the back, there's the Gold Museum. We're gonna pass it up today. That's okay. But um, we've, uh, we're all partaking in fudge and we might even hit one of the tasting rooms up here. So we'll walk around, we'll take you some shots and let you see what beautiful Dahlonega looks like. But it's an incredible October midweek day. So let's see what we can find, okay? But just look at this square. This thing goes back, I don't know, 100 and something years. A lot of these buildings are still very original. You have wine tasting rooms. There's a great one right there. Great place for fudge right there. The visitor center. And the crew sitting over there who decided they're going to have fudge. Beautiful Dahlonega. My goodness, this has turned out to be an incredible October day. It's beautiful. You come to Dahlonega and you gotta go and get the fudge store and pralines and oh my gosh, that's all so good. I wish this had smell of vision. Mercy. Well, we're in Dahlonega. It's, um, we brought family number one, Julie and Coach Josh and the grandbabies. And we have been eating fudge, and we did a little wine tasting. Peanuts. And we ate boiled peanuts. If you come to Georgia, you, it, have, to have, you have to have boiled peanuts. But we're going to wait and hold this video. I'm going to do this as, in two parters, two sections, because we have Joel and Amanda coming up, our oldest and his girlfriend. And we're going to come back, and we're going to do the wine tasting rooms. It's going to be a little different than going out to the vineyards. and. Um, We'll expand this video a little bit and let you see the other side of the family and see some more Dahlonega. So it's fun, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we're back in Dahlonega and you can tell it is noisy in here. We are at Capers for lunch. Uh, this is a little Greek themed restaurant. Uh, here, I'll turn this around. You can hear the crowd coming in, it's popular. We're sitting out here by the window. Kind of fun, kind of neat. So uh, we're gonna take in Getting close to the end of our trip here in October. It's gotten cooler, and um, I think we're just gonna enjoy a nice Greek themed lunch, and I'll send you a couple pictures of, and some videos of some of the other things. I think we're gonna go kind of junk touring, aren't we? Yeah, junk touring for the kids. Junk touring for the kids, can't beat that. <laughs> All right, so part two. So this is always what I call the funny time of a trip. You can see Joan, there she is. Um, she calls this, I like doing the shop thing, <laughs> which means that we get to take care of all the, um, I call them dust collectors. Dust collectors. I'm not quite sure what you're talking about, I just happened up. <laughs> so we're gonna go check the shops and um, see about getting things that nobody needs but everybody wants so here we are let's go walk down the way over here there's these little tasting rooms all over the place we really like this one um we came here and you can you can actually see they've got artists i think they got three or four artists here you can see the tasting room back in the back and um joel actually bought some art here we bought some jewelry and uh, these are these are just nice little places they're very social there's all kinds of fun things to do here. So you can see there on the corner, that's the fudge factory. And then, of course, there's tasting rooms everywhere. I showed you one earlier. There's Habersham's tasting room. They've also got a big, massive one over in Helen if you're interested in visiting their gift shop. Ice cream parlor. And this is the Crimson Moon. Crimson Moon. So they have you know live music in the evenings. They open up at 4:30. They have you know light lunch affairs. Just kind of a neat place. Other kinds of shops as you look up on some of the side roads. Nice little restaurants all over the place. So we came down from the square and we ran into this place, Gold City Crowlers. There's just so much to do around here. This is crazy, but you can uh, come inside here and. You can see Joel, Amanda, and Joan down there. <clears throat> they did a little four-flight sample of the growlers that they have here. 
all the, <laughs> all the specialties. Neat place. Owner's super, super, super nice back there. So just another thing to do while you're here in Dahlonega. Fun, fun, huh? Well, we're in the Dahlonega General Store. You name it, they've got it. Honeys, jams, stones. Need a hat. Souvenir coins, refrigerator magnets. And important stuff that everyone needs. And when you come to the general store, you've got to find a little bit of everything. We've got to feed our Christmas addiction. <laughs> Let's call a Christmas addiction right there. <laughs> and all kinds of things. If you're a sign nut, look at that. That's amazing. Another successful day in Dahlonega, day two. We have snowmen. Snowmen. Santa Claus. Santa Clauses. Yep. Ice cream. So we're gonna call it quits after two days. Great time in Dahlonega, you need to come. As always, this is Jerry. And Joan. Um, and Joan. And we both love RV life.